Introduce you to the uh, laser ball sometimes that I bought the other day from eBay. It costs around ten pounds. Uh, then you've got the factory in the batteries, which can be another seven pound fifty to eight pounds. So if you can get one with batteries in it, that's even better. Uh, it's not got a brand name on it. It's just called laser ball sighter, and it's made up with different colours that screw into the end of it. Uh, it ranges from a, a 2.2 up to a 0.50 calibre bore on a barrel. Uh, it will work directly with a barrel but it won't work if you've got a silencer on it or a shroud uh, because the actual length of the uh, bore sight needs to uh, fit into the barrel. Now what you do using your little uh, collar on it it screws into the end of the bore sight and as you screw it in it starts to flare out and that's what packs into your barrel it's only made out of a plastic so it won't on the barrel uh, the actual battery is in the front end and uh, when you turn it it comes on. Now the idea behind bore sights is so that you can zero your scope in if you're not at the range even. So it doesn't do it exactly on but it gets you near, in the, near enough in the ballpark so that uh, you don't have to do much when you do start shooting. Uh, so all it does it down the end of the barrel. It's a nice snug fit in there. Turn it a bit more. It's too much backing it off. So that goes in. Right. Put the phone on. Okay. I've got to come down a bit. Now what I've got down range is a 14 centimetre target that I've made up. And I've put a black centre on it so you can see the laser. So I've just got to pack that up a bit more. That's better. Okay, I'll switch the uh, camera on you and get a, a bird's eye view. Right. Let's come back a bit. I think I think you can probably just about see the uh, the red dot right in the middle of the uh, target. So what you do once you've got your dot lined up. And this does help if you've got a rifle vice or rest. What the idea is to do now is to uh, move the crosshairs until they meet up with a red dot. So it needs to come up. That's going down. So that's about right vertical. That needs to come over to the right. Ah, 
Ah. There we go. Right, it's now online with the uh, with the laser. So what I need to do now is take a shot at the ball and we'll see how close it is. And of course I'm in the backyard. I don't want to make a, a big noise, so I'm putting the silence back on. Take these off now and go for the shot. It costs ten pound on eBay, but if you can get it with the batches, as long as it don't cost more than eighteen pound, that's a good good buy. So uh, that is uh, a laser ball finder that you can get off of eBay. Thanks for watching. And the target is about twenty yards away. And I have used the laser ball finders before on military rifles. Now with the SC80, if you uh, use the ball sighter at 25 yards, it would still be on zero for 100 yards. So what we used to do back at the uh, training centre would be to uh, uh, zero the rifles using the ball sighter. And when we got down to the range, we would zero in at the 100 yards, but most of the time it would be on target. And with uh, army assault rifles, the battle range was 300 uh, meters. So, uh, what you would do, you would at, at 100 meters, the actual uh, 
zero should have been four inches above the target, above the point of it of uh, aim for the 300 meters. So uh, we used to actually uh, zero for 300 meters at 100 by just leaving a four inch uh, group above the uh, point of zero. So you knew that uh, between 100 and 200 it was only uh, two inches uh, drop and uh, another two inches for the uh, 300 meters. So the kill zone, once it was zeroed in, four inches was uh, nothing really. But that was on uh, a 556 rifle. It does work on air rifles, but you've got to remember the uh, the drop off on these is a lot uh, lower than on an assault rifle. But uh, that is it. The laser ball sighter and what you can do with it.